All right, Salawam. First off, for to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak with Dash. We want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Um, title of this video, okay, is uh, Deadly Shooting at a, a Funeral in Baltimore. Okay. Um, so, as it says, okay, one dead, one critical in shooting at funeral. School lockdown lifted, police say. Okay, it says uh, one person is dead and another is suffering life-threatening in injuries after a shooting at a funeral Wednesday afternoon in Baltimore County that prompted a school to be locked down for hours, police say. Okay. Um, it says police said two men suffered apparent gun gunshot wounds to their upper bodies, police and EMS officials responded around 12.45 p.m. and began tra treating the victims. One of the men died at the scene and the other was taken to a hospital in critical condition and is in grave condition. A third person complained of chest pain. Okay, police said the gunman may have left the scene on foot, mixing in with the dispersing crowd before making a getaway in a vehicle. Surveillance video from Lucky Auto Repair across the street captured the crowd running for cover. The service was being held for Marcus Brown. Uh, he was 18, who was a victim of gun violence in the 1400 block of North Mount Street. Okay. Um, it says, officials believe the shooting was targeted and that there is no further threat to the community. And it is a fucking threat to the community anytime these niggas around here um you know running around and this person um the that that shot um ended up getting away now the thing is that um when you go deeper into the story the person that um ended up uh dying okay was the brother of uh marcus uh brown okay um which um prompted me to uh want to go into doing a video okay on this um this this topic okay um now i believe it's in um isaiah the first chapter okay because gotta back everything up with scriptures okay um isaiah the uh first chapter uh the 21st verse how is the faithful city become a harlot and it was it was full of judgment righteousness lost in it but now murderers okay and the city is a people before is a place it's not talking about baltimore city okay it's talking about the so-called negroes latinos and native americans okay in america now when you go into the bible okay it talks about how our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are under the curses, okay, that uh, the Lord put put on us, okay, Deuteronomy uh, 28 and um, uh, 54 says, and so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, right, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother, okay, and that's talking about, you know, the, the so-called black-on-black crime, okay, that's going on, um, especially here in Baltimore, okay? Now, the thing is that this uh, person, okay, ended up getting um, shot, okay? And the person that um, ended up coming to the funeral was posing like he was a, um, a friend, Okay, and he could have very well had been a friend, okay, that um, <clears throat> was friend of this uh, Marcus Brown person, okay, the person that ended up probably killing him, killing Marcus, okay, and also um, killing his brother, okay, could have very well been his friend, okay, which leads me to bring out this scripture, Proverbs 13 and 20. 
He that walks with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. So hanging around the wrong people can get you killed, man. Okay? Proverbs uh, 1 and 11. If they say, come with us, let us wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. And more often than not, okay, it's, it's you know, due to some material bullshit, okay, some, some nigga shit, okay, because this wasn't, um, whether, whether this, this killing, okay, happened, I'm talking about the Marcus Brown killing, because of Mark, what Marcus did or something else, okay, we see that it's, it's a, a extremely serious, uh, ordeal, okay, um, and this is the mindset that, that people have. It says, cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain your foot from their path. So don't hang around niggas, man. Okay? A nigga uh, 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 get you to try to rob somebody or go do some dumb shit. Okay? And then guess what? When, when some shit go down... That nigga can't even get himself out of that fucking situation. Okay? And nigga probably end up snitching on some stuff, man. It says, for their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. And that's what a lot of these people out here in Baltimore have the mindset of doing. Okay? It says, surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. And niggas, niggas love being on the corner all day. Okay, and that's what the scriptures say, Isaiah 51 and 20. Your sons have fainted, they lie at the head of all the streets. Niggas on, on all the, 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 the street corners, okay, they don't own shit on that, on that block, okay, but they're at the, 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 the corner selling whatever, okay, and, and any woman that, that's walking by, okay, Especially if it's a lot of niggas out there, they're gonna try to holler at them. Okay, not knowing damn well that that they don't wanna um you know take care of this woman. Okay, you know if they end up getting that woman pregnant, they're gonna just you know say fuck her. Okay, but that you know when that woman walks by, hey fuck you dummy, fuck you bitch. If the, if the woman don't give them the number. Okay. And it's the mindset that niggas have, okay? It says, as a wild bull in the net, they are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God, okay? And, and the Lord is going to destroy these people out here, man, okay? That 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 be out there on, on the streets all day, okay? The, the, the corners being niggas all the time, man, okay? Don't even got no off switch. It says, and they lay wait for their own blood, Right, their own peoples, right? They lurk privily for their own lives, or privately for their own lives. Um, Second Timothy two and three. I mean, three and one. Um, <clears throat> this this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Okay, and it's not this a perilous time, a double shooting at a at a funeral. Okay. Perilous, okay, let's get that word, okay. Ch chalop, chalop, chalepos, okay, which means hard to do, to take, troublesome, dangerous. It's dangerous for a mother to even go to a funeral and bury their uh, their child, okay. So it says, that in the last days, perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous. Boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, these little children, okay, don't respect their elders, don't respect, you know, the, the, the young, don't respect the living, don't respect the dead, okay, it says unthankful, unholy, not set apart, okay, no truth in these niggas, man, 
Okay? Or these nigga women. Without natural affection. Niggas don't even know how to show show real love, man. Or or or, or actually can can uh care about the people that surround them, man. Okay? Truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. Okay, traitors, head high hitty, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. And a lot of these niggas out here love getting high. Okay. So so hanging around those type of people, they got demons on them. Okay? And you don't want to get caught up in that the, dealing with the wrong people, because guess what? The scriptures say that'll get you destroyed. You could very well not even be uh uh, uh somebody that um Hangs around them all the time, but you go around them one time and you end up getting destroyed. Okay, for being a for being a fucking idiot. Okay? That's why the the this truth is extremely important. The ones that 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 are trying to do what the Lord says, says Malachi 3 and 16. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, because these people don't fear the Lord. And the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and thought upon his name. Which his name is Yahweh. Okay, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. Okay. Um, and they shall be mine, saith the Lord. Those those people that, that fear the Lord and, and, and have his name and doing what he say, those are the wise men. So you want to hang around those wise men. Okay? It says, um, and that day when I make up my jewels, I will sp and I will spare them as a man spares his own son that serves him. Then so you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. Okay? And we know it's a lot of wicked niggas out here. Okay? Be him between him that serves God and him that serves him not. So why would, if I'm trying to serve the Lord the right way, why would I want to go out here and go hang around the wrong crowd of people. Okay, and that's what a lot of people out here in Baltimore do. They hang around the wrong people. Psalms 1, 119 and 63. I am a companion of all them that fear the Lord. And of them that keep thy precepts. Okay? So that's who we supposed to be, be with, man. If you, Especially if you're in this truth. Hanging around the people that, that fear the Lord. Because these niggas don't fear the Lord. Okay? Um, Hebrews 10 and 24 and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works okay telling telling one another do the right thing man okay so showing that that affection man that that you know we ain't niggas and stuff like that man okay because it's so easy to get carnal out here okay and when you get carnal and you let them demons just take over, you end up in this type of bullshit, man. Okay? So with that, man, okay, I want to say salam.